Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. <laughs> but one thing for sure, we should be kind as much as possible as I leave this alone. I was blessed to arise this morning or to be awakened by the touch of our Father, this thing called life. And this scripture that I've been looking at for about two weeks, it's just been gnawing at me. I guess I've been spiritually uh, chewing on it in my spiritual cud and, and I regurgitated it in my sleep and I found myself just thinking about Romans 12 and 18. It says, if it be possible, stop right there. If it be possible. And what I'm talking about is getting along with people. Some people you just can't get along with. Some people are haphazard and, and, and just hell bent on being mean and nasty and and, and, and their strength is being mean and nasty and disrespectful and and, and, and a, a profane and profanity filled and boisterous and contrary and indifferent and opposite. You know, um, it says, if it be possible, comma, as much as lieth in you. Now, we're going to stop right there. Lieth, lieth, lieth. The TH in lieth. The TH in faith. The TH in truth. Standeth, giveth, taketh, uh, understandeth, uh, uh, spoken. Anything that ends in uh, uh, believeth. And TH in the, in the Holy Bible means uh, perpetual. It means it means the same thing regardless of the age, the error, or the error, or the person. If it be possible... Mission impossible, but what is impossible with man is more than possible with our Father. But if it be possible within yourself, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. A lot of people you just can't get along with, no matter what you give, no matter what you pray, say, stay, go, cook, bring, donate, give. Uh, uh, you just can't seem to live peaceably. With this person, here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. I guess divorce court, separation, annihilation, discombobulation, convolution. I don't know. My mom and my dad had a saying: "Get out with a. Would you rather get out with a heart in peace, or would you rather get out with a heart in pieces?" That was the, the statement. The, excuse me. The question then became a statement: Get out with a heart in peace, and don't get out with a heart in pieces. If it be possible, what is impossible with man is more than possible with God. But don't take abuse. Cuss out, knock out, drag out. Oh, we've been married 35 years. He's been cussing me out for 35 years. Oh, child, he's been beating me up verbally for 41 years. Hmm. But you're a beautiful couple in the presence of others. But you are. Jane, stop these crazy things. When you're by yourself or on your own domicile, if it be possible, comma, as much as life in you, comma, live peaceably with all men, women, person, whatever the case may be. It should say live peaceably with all jackasses, all donkeys, I don't know. <laughs> as I leave this alone. But we are responsible for ourselves, our own conduct, speech, behavior, actions, overreactions. Accountability and responsibility. Y'all heard me say this many times before. Accountability and responsibility equals the person. The person. So, Father, make a person. The person collect phone call to all of our hearts and mind and bless us if it be possible as much as life within us to live peaceably with all men. You can't get along? Get along. A-L-O-N-E or get a loan. Go on. You know, so... I'm not advocating separation, divorce, or busting up or breaking up. But some of y'all already live in the, the, the nightmare dream of being together but broke up. Like two trains passing in the hallway at night. <laughs> but it's sad when, if it be possible, as much as life in you to live peaceably with all men. But it's also vice versa. People have to live with, and, and, and deal with us and put up with us. And I thank our Father for putting up with me until I met him 
and my own significant change, if much as life in you, if it be possible. Live peace with all men, if it be possible. And I pray that this sticks in all of our crawl. I pray this that this goes that this is in all of our spiritual cud. Cause this some people just love acting the fool. The fool have said in his heart. Psalms 14 and 1, there is no God. And how has the fool said in his heart, there is no God through his or her or their ungodly conduct, speech, actions, overreactions. It's not the man or woman that the mistakes make. It's the man or the woman that makes the mistakes. Have a beautiful day. A gift called a present from the most high God. Peace. If it be possible, and this mission is not impossible, if it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all persons, all people, all men. Peace. Hallelujah. One.